hello there thanks for clicking on my video and um, I think I'm gonna start doing monthly favorites because I've been watching a lot of those kind of videos recently and I'm like obsessed with them but my computer has been breaking a lot recently so I won't be able to edit this video so I, I might like ramble on a little bit but I'm gonna try not to and I'm gonna try and make it short but God knows that us um, lady vloggers can't seem to do that very well and I'm gonna start with like the less cosmetic stuff stuff like favorite song or whatever and then I'm gonna move on to the cosmetic stuff so basically where shall I start I'll start with the one that I can't really like show you because it's a band my favorite band this month has been tonight alive I think I've already mentioned them on a video or two and um she's like probably my biggest inspiration at the moment and I covered their song recently called breaking and entering and it's a really good song I think I've already said that as well and um I tweeted it to Jenna McDougall, the singer, and she said it was really good and she, she thinks I've got a great voice and stuff and I was like so happy, I was like really excited by that tweet. Well, I get excited when anyone kind of like that in a band that I like it tweets me or whatever, but still, so that's my favourite band. Favourite drink. Oh yes, this, this is nearly finished and I go through like a, a couple of bottles of these a week because I only seem to drink that, um, Neuro, it's Neuro something, it's a white drink and it's amazing, it, it makes you like, it makes you quite happy, it's meant to like, just, yeah, it's meant to make you happy basically and it's good, but Oasis here is like, I never get bored of it because I normally go through phases, like I'll drink a bit of Relentless or whatever, but I need, I like something that's kind of fruity and still a bit healthy. And because I get palpitations, it sounds stupid, but I get like, my heart does really weird things if I have too much caffeine, even though I work at Starbucks and get free drinks there sometimes, but still. So yeah, Oasis favorite drink, favorite book, Mockingjay. One of the Hunger Games books and it's really, really, really good. The best book I've ever read probably. I don't even think I've read that many books really but it's still probably the best book I've ever read. And um, I haven't finished reading it yet, I'm up to like chapter 5 and look at the um, book holder thing. I'm so cheap. I went to see that film twice. My phone says hello by the way. And um, yeah, it's really, really good, honestly. Even if you like a boy or a girl or a teenager or an adult or whatever, I'd probably suggest reading it. And it's not as weird as people make out. So, I think... Oh, jewellery. Favourite jewellery? Harmonica necklace here. And the necklace that I'm wearing now, which is the Hunger Games necklace, which I got from Amazon. I think it was like 20 quid, but I think it's a lot cheaper on Etsy. I think a few people on Etsy make it. And this, you can get it, I got mine from Athletics, but you can get it from shops like Arc as well, I think. You can probably just Google it, I'm not sure, and it actually, it works. See? Yeah. And, um, yeah, so that's really cool. And now to the cosmetic kind of stuff. Right. Perfume, I normally don't even bother with perfume at all, but I've had this for a long time. And I usually don't even bother wearing perfume, but I've started using it a little bit more recently. This is, like, my favourite fragrance ever. It's, uh... The Gwen Stefani made it, um, the Harajuku girls perfumes I think, and mine is in the music smell or scent or whatever. Yeah, I got the music one and it's really cool, it smells nice and I think I'm going to start using it a little bit more just because I work now so I might need to like freshen up or whatever a bit more so I don't smell like coffee all the time or whatever. And uh, face wash. Favourite face wash is simple. It's just the kind of skin one, refreshing. Because I think they have some that are more scrubby for like um, zits and stuff, but I've been pretty lucky with that recently. That I haven't been getting zits or anything. And it, I like that I can basically get it in my eyes and it doesn't stink or whatever. And I think that one's cool, so. Right, favourite hair product is the Tresemme hairspray. I was looking for years to find a really good hairspray that could hold my hair the way I wanted. And like, I don't want to make myself look stupid and but it just literally sticks your hair there. And I think that's really cool because not many hairsprays do that. This is the freeze hold one, so it's like the strongest hold. And um, so, right, I've probably made my hair look a bit too extra stupid at the moment. But anyway, so that's a really good hairspray. If you 
prefer one that's just really easy to brush out and just kind of fixes the hair in place a bit then probably don't get that one that's for more for people who like really back comb and get into their hair and stuff or for me because I, I don't want my fringe to get messy or whatever but anyway all right now for my favorite makeups there's three lipsticks and my eyeliner because a lot of people ask about what eyeliner I use and it is a pretty good eyeliner to be honest it is the Clinique gel eyeliner I have it in the black shade it's a uh, true black I think it just says real black but I'm guessing that means true black so it's the Clinique one and um, it's a gel eyeliner so you have to use a brush with it it comes with a brush but I don't really like that one so I normally use angled brushes for eyeliner because they're a lot easier to use so that's my favorite like eye makeup products and these three here are my favorite lip products I'm wearing a bebe. I'm wearing this one now it's like well two of these are the Kate Moss lipsticks from um, Rimmel and the, I didn't really want to buy them at first because I'm not a massive fan of Kate Moss so I was kind of like eh but like I heard a lot of like good things about them so the formula is really good and the colours are really good I think I'm going to get another one soon but I'm, I'm going to swatch these so that is the one I'm wearing now and this is shade 12 it's like an orangey red but it's not but like I said about the formula, it's not like extremely matte or extremely bold, it's just the right amount of kind of opaqueness I suppose. And you get a perfect amount of colour I think and you can probably build up on it if you don't want as much, you can just pat a bit off or whatever. So it's not too shiny, it's not too glossy, but it's still moisturising. If it were a MAC finish, it'd probably be satin, except still a, a little bit more creamy but not as much as like the amplified that they have because that just feels like painting on your lips so yeah basically I think these Kate Moss lipsticks are really good so that's that colour the next shade I got is shade 16 which is like it's kind of like a light pink but it's not the kind of light pink where you'd put it on and feel like you were plastic or whatever because some of those I really don't like the way they make me look but it's this one here and it's really really nice it, I think it has a bit of a mauve look you know like a mauve pink kind of dusty rose or whatever they call it so that one's really good and the last one is the pop sticks uh the by maybelline i think yeah maybelline uh this color is cherry pop i'm not sure if you can see it but it's 080 and it's see-through it's really really good it smells so nice here. These don't really smell like much, which I don't mind because I don't like just eat my lipsticks or whatever. But this smells so nice, honestly. They don't smell like sickly or chocolatey or anything like that. They just smell a bit fruity. And let me swatch it. It comes out like a bright orange, kind of like a lip, lip gloss more than a lipstick. But it's this one here. And I think I've wore it in a couple of my last videos, so you might be able to tell. So yeah, they're those three lipsticks. And I hope you liked my favourite favourites video, June favourites. And um, because I think I'm going to be making a few more of these. So yeah. Awkward outro again. <laughs> I never know what to say. Uh, I don't want to be alone. I'm, I'm only joking. Okay. Bye bye. I'll see you soon.